Cancel culture is an issue. You see negatives towards the LGB people, probably because they shouldn't exist. But sometimes cancel culture gets it right. Yeah, we've got an interesting guy. He is by all human standards, hot as f fixated on his bulging muscles. He calls himself a demigod. His luscious flowing locks. Uh, he's a super attractive guy. His chiseled features. Uh, his content is super shallow. It's his perfect facial hair, his amazing eyes, his perfect skin. God, the, the guy's, he's, he's a demigod baby, I, I don't know. But yeah, he sucked a lot of people in. But then what happened was his true colors started to shine. I am way too worried. And I should not have to be worried about that. When somebody does something wrong, TikTok reacts quickly. They start tagging the whistleblowers. We're not like him. We don't claim him. Who start tagging their friends. I gotta report this. Who start tagging people who are gonna get all turned up over it. But you still hate gays. And it ends up snowballing where people start to get a gang mentality on this individual. Saying some wildly bad garbage in his live streams. And they start to mass report their channel and block them even though they're not following them just to send negative signs to the algorithm that this person is bad for the app. Many people often don't realize that one of their favorite creators is transphobic, homophobic, sexist, ableist, and has made disgusting sexual comments to a minor? No, a lot of people don't realize that. He's not publishing TikTok saying these things. It's him getting caught in lives, answering people on the fly. Uh, he just says really horrible, inappropriate things. He says really inappropriate things to children, really turning into this thing where it's not just one issue with his personality it's people are starting to paint a picture of the type of person he is all around the first we'll talk about the lgbt community and his comments towards them uh, then we'll talk about uh, how he tells people to kill themselves and we'll talk about some of the things that he says to little kids when asked what's your opinion of trans men his response was you mean women women that are pretending to be men yeah that's my opinion so as you can see, these, these comments are not sitting right with people. He said to one kid, Yeah, you love being on your knees. Land on your feet. A man lands on his feet. Girls get on their knees. So you can add misogynistic to the anti-gay, anti-trans, racist, to, to his resume of just, Come on, lick the slimy part. You're gonna get used to licking slimy parts later on down the line anyways. I'll give you another thing to lick if you like. He said this to a little kid. Who says this? Who says this to adults? It's, it's pretty messed up. So clearly there's some fallout from this. So he's gone live since then and, and his lives don't go very well. Uh, it's mostly people trolling him, uh, spamming uh, comments about him, spamming questions, getting him to respond and, and say something in regards to these accusations and the things he said in the past, maybe get an apology. And as you can see here in this video, uh, this was just taken from one of his lives, just a screen recording. You can see that he just, he's not responding to anyone. He's just kind of reading it, <laughs> breathing deeply. Uh, he's not really acknowledging anybody and then they're all asking pretty legitimate questions and he doesn't he just doesn't feel like it matters he doesn't feel like he should answer to anybody and then you have some people who are pretty upset and coming forward with the the suicide stuff and 669,000 of you still agree with Rawri to a power now just imagine if he said that to one of your loved ones and then they actually went through with it come on TikTok you can do this Knock him down. He is very, very vocal that he thinks people should kill themselves. He thinks that people going through certain things don't ex don't deserve to live. 13 years ago, I tried to kill myself. I tied a noose around my neck and jumped off a shed in my backyard. Something similar to this. 
There are five people in this world that know about it. The two people that saved me, my roommate at the time, my ex-girlfriend and her family. Now listen to this. Kill yourself. <laughs> That'll be nice. Do it in some sort of creative way. Try and do it online. Record yourself so we can get some sort of entertainment out of it. I thought I was in a really bad spot in my life and I desperately needed somebody to talk to. Contemplated doing it so many times, but if I had somebody like this telling me to go through with it, it probably would have happened. That's a sad story from him and, and a really authentic, uh, very interesting story. You could tell it was a tough story for him to tell. And it's, it's crappy to have people like Raw out there that just feel so invincible and so above everybody. And they don't understand that their words hurt. And this is one of those, you know, freedom of speech issues that has long been in debate, right? What is freedom of speech? Where do opinions end and hate and violence begin? That's the question. And when, when there's somebody out here doing stuff like this, saying stuff like this on a public, uh, you know, taking a stage, a public forum, you know, getting a bunch of followers, having people tune into him, having people look up to him and asking him questions and, and having a guy who maybe you look up to saying that you should kill yourself, that's, pretty, that's a pretty terrible thing. And there's actually one girl that was on one of his lives that he told to kill herself and she decided to make a TikTok about it. I'm pineapple and Rala Kendall told me to kill myself. So I had followed him for a while and he, um, I never had seen his lives. So then one day he was live, so I decided to like watch it. And when I got into it, at first I was like, hmm, this guy's kind of conceited, but whatever. Um, but then he started calling people R word and just very derogatory stuff. So I wrote, you're being a little bit arrogant, sir. Maybe you should like think about that before you like say stuff. Um, and then he told me to kill myself. And then he blocked me before I could respond and defend myself because <laughs> he's an idiot. And he's scared, clearly. He can't even face me. But I actually have multiple stories of what Ra has done. And if you want story times, let me know. A little cowardly, a little cowardly to say something that horrible to somebody and then just block them so they can't respond. Cancel culture is, is so cruel. It's so cruel. It's one of those things that hangs over a content creator's head at all times. You're always worried. Is this the thing? Is this the thing that I say that ends it all, right? You can have it all stripped away from you with one poorly worded sentence. That's just, that's, that's just the world that we live in, in social media. You know, you can, you can take all of your accomplishments over a period of years, all of your positive engagements, everything that you've said for people, done for people, uh, you know, all the smiles and laughs that you created can all be wiped out in an instant with a mistake, with a poor choice of words. But what we have here isn't that. And the interesting thing about this particular case is he hasn't been canceled, at least not yet. Uh, in fact, since 11 a.m. when I did all my research for this and started just like downloading all of the content that I was gonna use to make this YouTube video, he's gained 2,000 new followers since then. So he's not being canceled. I don't know, is this a no press is bad press situation? Is this any engagement is good engagement? You know, there's a fine line there, right? Where having a polarizing personality can propel you to new heights. It's one of those things where you, it benefits you to push the boundaries because the closer you can get to the boundary without going over into full cancellation mode benefits you, right? It's, it's the, it's the Logan Paul strategy. It doesn't matter how hated you are, it, it, as long as people are talking about you. And so with him, it doesn't look like Raw's gonna be canceled over this. I guess everyone's gonna have their own opinion about that, right? You know, in, in one respect, he has rights to his own opinions. On others, he said uh, the wrong things to the wrong people, perhaps on the wrong platform, and he's hurt people with his opinions. So at what point should opinion stay your own and you just make, I don't know, 
your cringy, I'm hot guy content. Why not just stick with that? What do you guys think? Should this guy be canceled? Um, or should he continue growing at the rate that he is? Uh, it's it's gonna be an interesting debate. Let me know. Let's have a conversation in the comments. Deuce. <laughs>